Hello everyone. In the previous section, I showed you how to use how to create an index to improve the Mongo query. In the lecture, I'm going to present a advanced way to use the index to query on multiple fields, what we call compound compound index. Let me first connect to my Mongo instance on 3.40 version and select the database I'm going to use. The, the people collection is the one I'm going to use in this course. Let me show you the structure of this collection. Okay, it gives you the basic information about the people. All right, how many index are there in this collection? We can just get index command to return the index, it has a last name index. Well, if I'm searching uh, people with uh, both last name and first name, whether that index is still used, let me check with you. So I'm going to use explain as usual to check the performance of the query. And in that query, I'm going to use both the first and the last name as a query condition. I grab this name and uh, as first name and the Paham as a last name. Okay. Before we do the explain, I'm going to show how many documents are returned in this query. Alright, there is only one document return and in the query result what we got is a one document returned and 27 document resigned. It's not bad but it's not uh, ideal. Still we, we still we have a uh, exam 26 more documents in this query which are not necessary. How do we improve the performance? To match a one by one ratio rather than one by twenty seven. The first thing we need to check is why there is an index last name is used in this query. If you dig into the execution state, find the first state is called index scan, and in that stage is your last name as a index key. So that means the last name is used in that scan, and it returns. 27 documents, which means there are 27 people has the same last name as we queried, but only one of them match the final condition for the first name. All right, this is give me a chance to introduce the common index in in current people collection. I have showed you that there are only class name as the index. Now I'm going to create another one to use both first name and last name as the index key. Okay. After doing this, let's examine this same query. Okay, from here we can see a uh, really good ratio one by one. We examine one document and return one document. That's because we are using common index in that scan and the winning scan is index scan and fetch. So in this class I hope this is helpful for you to understand how to use common index to do a query. Thanks for watching.